Welcome to Breakfast with Spaniels with Dr. Judy Morgan. Remember, you can purchase all of Dr. Morgan's products at her website at www.drjudymorgan.com. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, poo. I'm not on. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Kitty. You just did a complete circle. Kitty was in my lap, went that way, came around behind. She's back. All right. So, come on. Whoopsie. <laughs> All righty. Uh, a couple of things. Let's see. Today's Friday, so the Friday Five is going out, and uh, we did get the coconut cocoa therapy coconut chips in. Uh, they are now on the website. So anybody who yeah the lively Friday morning spaniels. Uh, anybody who needs coconut chips for good poo, uh, they're now available. Um. Okay, uh, I wanted to talk quickly about mast cell tumors because um, yesterday I had a surgery on a young pug, um, she's only like two or three years old, and she had a little mass um, on her kind of her back, back of her thigh that was about the color pink of my fingernail and about the size of my fingernail. And the owners noticed it, and um, Dr. Candle saw Dr. Candle last week, and she did a cytology with a, a slide of it, and saw mast cells, and they're they're really obvious on um, cytology. So when we put them on a slide, they stain really dark purple with all these little granules, and so uh, because we knew it was a mast cell, we wanted to get it off immediately. So when you find small lumps and bumps, um, definitely worth having them checked. It was easy to see on this dog because she's a short-coated dog. Um, so they scheduled her to come in yesterday and we started to shave the area. And when we started, we found two more that were even smaller that had popped up within about a two-inch circle in that same area. When we flipped her over, we found a fourth one on the other leg right next to her vulva. So thankfully, this owner was really right on top of it. As soon as she saw it, she brought the dog in. And as soon as we knew what it was, we said, we're going to get this off. And uh, so we ended up taking off all four of them. Now, this is not good news that we have a dog that's three years old that is popping mast cells out left and right. Um, so we've already started her. Uh, generally, a traditional veterinarian is going to treat mast cell tumors with high doses of steroids and antihistamines. So we already had her on antihistamines, and then uh, she went home with a whole bunch of herbs for immune support and also to uh, decrease the formation of lumps, bumps, and nodules. So um, this is a problem. Uh, now we have to wait for our biopsy results to come back to give us a grade of the tumor. So it's going to be graded as a, um, hi Georgie, as uh, a, you know, high malignancy, low malign malignancy as to, that'll give us a much better idea as to how fast this might spread um, and how aggressive the, the tumors are. So now this little dog is going to be on tumor watch literally for the rest of her life because she, for whatever reason, wants to make these. So we sent her home with, um, I actually chose Dr. Harvey's Solaris product because I really love the mushroom complexes that are in there. So, um, so she went home with that. Uh, we'll start her to help build her immune system, and they also have cancer-fighting abilities. And she went home with IP6 and uh, CBD and a special herb called Stasis in the Mansion of the Blood or 
Zhui Fu Zhu Yu Zhu Yao. Anyway, uh, so this little one uh, luckily has an owner who was really right on top of things, and we caught them when they were really small. So, so what are we looking for specifically? Are they always that bright pink? They are generally, mast cell tumors a lot of times will be pretty bright pink because they're releasing histamine granules, so they almost will have an allergic reaction. And when you make them angry, if you, you know, pick at them or play with them or the dog starts licking at them, they will swell a lot of times. And then if you leave them alone, they'll go back down. Sometimes when you give antihistamines, um, they'll look less bright and the dog doesn't bother at them as much. We can see them on cats as well, but they're really rare on cats. Uh, they can be anywhere, and they can be, you can have internal mast cell, and you can have external. Uh, generally, we we see these, they start as these small, I mean, literally pencil eraser things, but mast cell tumors can also um, uh, imitate other things. So we've seen what we thought was a skin tag that turns out to be a mast cell tumor. We've seen what looks like an extra nipple, turns out be, being a mast cell. So, and they can be under the skin as well as on the skin. So anytime you have lumps and bumps, it is definitely worth getting them checked. Um, breeds, that are breeds that are more susceptible. Pugs are really high on the list. Really high on the list. Boxers. Boxers, very high on the list. Maybe it has something to do with that pushed in face. I don't know. But uh, pugs are definitely up there and the boxers are up there. Uh, I've had a, I had a cocker. Had a couple of cockers. Um, I have a Labrador that keeps making them, and the labs are really interesting. They're very tiny. They're under the skin instead of on the skin, and they will poof up and go down, and poof up and go down. Um, is there anything diet related? Is actually this dog is on a, a homemade good diet, so uh, definitely vaccine related. I would recommend this dog never gets vaccinated again. So uh, it's the immune system gone awry for whatever reason. Um, <clears throat> do you have to stay away from fermented foods? No, I don't think so. Uh, where do you get the Chinese herbs from your Chinese herbal veterinarian? Um, okay. Done? I'm done. I got to go to work. I'm late. I haven't, I haven't made my smoothie yet. I'm going to have to drink it in the car on the way to work. First camping weekend of the year. We're only going five miles from home. But Bo's taking a road trip. And the pups are taking a road trip. Five are going. Oh, don't worry, Teresa. It'll die. The leg can't... And the head can't live without the body. It'll die and fall out. I've never used turbinafine Ever. Did Stewie get his stomach fixed? No. He had his ultrasound yesterday. Waiting for the results today. He took another x-ray. There's definitely something there. He's going to get surgery at some part. Maybe next week? I don't know. Maybe the week after we're home. <laughs> 